The nearby cruise missile launcher was based on a 12 by 12 vehicle that carried three missiles, but the DRDO's aeronautical development establishment has started the process of converting it to an 8 by 8 vehicle carrying two missiles, that will make it more agile, and help in faster deployment. The DRDO has selected Larsen and Tubro as the system integrator for the program. There might be a 12 by 12 vehicle based platform carrying 6 missiles in later phase, which will be quite similar to the land deployable launcher of the Prahar missile. In a very significant development, the Defence Ministry has approved the order for the first batch of 12 light utility helicopters, and Hindustan Aeronautics has said that it has started the work to build the helicopters and the first helicopter will be delivered by August 2022. The Indian Army and Indian Air Force will receive six units each, while the expected requirement of the light utility helicopters within the services is more than 185 helicopters. India has already completed Phase 1 of its BMD program, and has started work on developing two long-range AD-1 and AD-2 interceptors for the Phase 2 of the program. The DRDO is also developing a 3,900-ton technology demonstration vessel at Cochin Shipyard, which has recently been integrated with 500 km range dual-panel long-range multifunction radar, and four units of a ship-launched canister missile system, that will be used to test new ship-based ballistic missile interceptors, that will be equipped on next-generation cruisers and destroyers, and will be a part of the sea-based element of India's BMD program. In a major milestone, the ISRO has successfully demonstrated free space quantum communication over a distance of 300 meters, and the demonstration included live video conferencing using quantum key encrypted signals. The experiment is a major breakthrough towards demonstrating a secured satellite data communication based on quantum technologies, and the ISRO is gearing up to demonstrate the technology between two Indian ground stations. The Secretary of Department of Science and Technology has announced that the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum has launched the India-US Artificial Intelligence Initiative, and it will concentrate on implementation of artificial intelligence in the significant areas that hold priorities for the two countries, and will deal with the geostrategic consequences of these new technologies, in which China is emerging as the global leader. Indian Gaganauts have completed their one-year training course in Russia, for the Gaganyaan mission that is aimed at sending them to space in an orbital spacecraft. The first unmanned flight mission is planned in December 2021, second unmanned flight mission in 2022, that will be followed by human spaceflight demonstration in 2023. India and Kuwait have established a joint commission during the recent meeting between the external affairs minister and the visiting Kuwaiti counterpart, and this joint commission will be charged with formulating the required basis to strengthen the partnership in science and technology as well as defense and security. After supplying two mobile harbor cranes worth $25 million to Iran's Chabahar port in January, India has again supplied the second shipment of equipment comprising of two more mobile harbor cranes to Chabahar port, and officials have said that two more cranes will be supplied to the port by the end of June. India is yet to take a final decision to take part in a multi-nation military exercise that will be hosted by Pakistan, under the umbrella of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. India and Pakistan have recently agreed to observe ceasefire along the line of control, and if India goes ahead with the participation, it would really be a historic event. Oh,